Can see the Guardian on the Quest 2? Well, let's try to solve it out. Quick, uh, go to Quick Settings. And then here, uh, see if it's grayed out, all right? Uh, and you can see either room scale or stationary, try to restart your headset. If it's not working, we're gonna create a new Guardian boundary again. So just choose stationary or room scale. And again, if it works for you, well, great. All right, so see, I'm just using one. If it works, you can, by the way, click confirm and check if it works. If it doesn't work, go to settings, all right, and then go to Guardian, all right? And you have different options here. Right. And by the way, choose the color that doesn't blend with your floor, for example. I know it's rare, but it might happen, so try it out. The other thing is go to Clear Guardian History, all right? And if you click Clear, it remove all the Guardian uh, that the headset actually saved and just go and click Clear. And after you're doing this, you need to set it up again. All right, so create, do I create a new boundary? All right, and choose the floor. You decide whether you want stationary or room scale. Now, if it doesn't work for you, next thing we're gonna try is to set the floor level uh, again manually. So you're gonna click set floor level, this button, and just touch the floor, all right? And uh, with your controller and click confirm. And again, check again to see if the guarding works for you. All right, next one we go to settings, room scale. And here are different settings. If you played it before, uh, make sure to, well, go with the default. So what you see here is the default ones, all right? So just to see, just set it up based on what you see here. And let's see if it works for you, all right? Again, keep in mind, there might be even a bug. So again, just use the default one that I'm using. I haven't touched those settings at all. All right, boundary sensitivity, that's a distance sensitivity, all the default as you can see here. Once you've done that, well, try again and see if it works. Now, when you are setting the Guardian, make sure you have, you're doing it in a lit room, not in a dark room, where this is always important. All right, next one, we're gonna go to quick settings again. All right, quick settings and then to settings, system, scroll down to software update and make sure that your software is up to date. If you see a button here, blue button update, make sure to update and restart your headset afterwards. All right, and check again. Next thing we're gonna go to headset tracking. Just above software update, you're gonna see it on the left sidebar. And tap it, and then you see adset tracking, all right? Make sure it's turned on, all right? Means it's blue and you have a mark there. Turn it on. Now, next one, uh, we're gonna go and just making sure again, uh, we're gonna go to display and uh, we're gonna change the 120 uh, hertz. We're gonna disable it. All right, you see it's enabled disable the 120 hertz refresh rate, at least temporarily just to check, all right? So make sure to turn it off. Off means that it's grayed, grayed out, not blue, all right? Turn it off and try again. Uh, next one is uh, we're gonna turn off, uh, sorry, reset default all the experimental features, all right? So we're gonna go uh, to the list here and we're gonna go to experimental. All right, then there's a button, reset all to default. The reason I'm resetting again, because I don't want to reset the entire headset, which might, by the way, solve the issues uh, after an uh, uh, update as well. So we're gonna sort of try it. So reset all of the features to default. The next one is regarding a developer option. And uh, here we actually gonna turn it off. Gonna to go to system again and developer. Then we see guardian, all right? So turn it off and check it by the way, if it's turned on. If it doesn't help, turn it back on, but try to turn it off and see if it works for you. All right, so you can see the guardian, all right? So just turn it off, make sure it's grayed out. And again, if not, and if it's turned on, you can just leave it on again if it doesn't work.
Now, one thing that might help you off is just do a factory reset. Just keep in mind that if you have things that are not saved to the cloud, you're going to lose uh, those uh, saved um, features, uh, saved content. So again, this is the last thing probably that you want to make, but again, if really nothing works for you and nothing that I actually showed you, make sure, by the way, to do cloud backup, all right, in the system area. So again, what can actually be backed up online will be backed up. But again, not everything uh, can be backed up, so do it at your own risk. But again, if you see that really nothing works for you, uh, factory reset might be the one thing to do and then updating the uh, firmware again. And yeah, hopefully this will help you out. Yeah, so this is it. Uh, if you find anything of these uh, suggestions helpful, uh, let me know in the comment section below as well. If you haven't found that it's useful, let me know as well. And uh, maybe other uh, people will help you out with some other suggestions that are not mentioned here. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you're going to find this uh, a solution for this. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers.